Hey y'all, it's Lisa, the one of the admins at the Silhouette Cameo Beginners Newbie Group. Um, we had some questions about how to save to the library, whether it's a JPEG or an SVG that you bring in. So I'm going to go out to Google first. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to take you over to your library. Make sure you're signed into your cloud. So you can see here it says I'm signed in as me. And if you ever come in and this has like a red X or it's not connected, you just double click here and it'll connect it. It'll actually show you everything that's in the library. And this will actually allow you to sync it. So if you purchase some designs in the Silhouette store and it's not on there yet, go ahead and make sure you sync the cloud. It's not going to be in the local user. This local user means what you've saved on your physical computer, not well, your physical library on this computer within SIL, this is up in the cloud. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my design area. I'm going to go out to Google. And I'm going to just grab a design. I'll grab one of these. So I did on my snippet tool. If you don't have your snippet tool, you need to get it. I'm going to go to New. I'm going to snip this design. Now, if you have Design Edition um, or higher, you can right-click and copy and paste it over. If you don't have that, you need to go up here to save this, and I would actually save it out to your desktop. Um, this is if you do not have a design edition or higher, okay? I do, so I'm going to actually right-click, copy, go back to Silhouette, right-click, and paste. See how that works? Let's zoom in here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I've got this on my design page. Okay, and it's just a JPEG. All I did was do a JPEG. You can actually go here and go to open if you saved it on your desktop if you don't have design edition. If I want to save this into my library, go to file, save as, save to library. I save most of my stuff to my hard drive. Because if you ever export out your library, a lot of your custom stuff, or some of it, will come up missing if you ever go to import and export. Okay, so file. Oh, sorry. See, we all make mistakes here. File. Save as to library. Then it's going to pop up and ask you what to call this. Right? So this is my anchor and wheel, whatever you call that thing. At this point, I can go in here and put it in a folder if I wanted to. I've gotten very lazy through the years, and you can tell I don't have much things in my folder, but this is how many designs I have, <laughs> or more. So if you're just starting out, I would suggest that you go ahead and do your folders now. So now I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to take you over to the library, and I'm going to type in Anchor. So here's my design saved in the library. So if I double click it and ignore that, here it is. Make sense? It would be the same if you had put an SVG on here. Doesn't mean, doesn't change any of the steps. Um, you're just going to make sure you save it to your library. That way you can access it, especially if you're using the cloud and you have three or four different computers out there that you're using. You can use all this stuff that you saved into the cloud. Excuse me on any computer that you're using. So, 